my law enforcement source has been telling us that one person was dead, one not far away, and now our source is with state police telling us that Richard Matt has in fact been shot and killed. So on day 21, three full weeks now into the search for these two men who broke out of the Dannemora Clinton Correctional Facility, we now know that one of them is dead and that authorities are hot on the trail of the other one, and that would be David Sweat. We don't have word on his condition or what his situation is right now. As Casey was just talking about, it could very well be a situation where they have him cornered and they're just going to wait him out, you know, not trying to take any chances with this, especially because authorities said that these two men are armed, they are dangerous, and it's clear from what has unfolded today that that is exactly the case. We know those camping grounds up there carry a lot of guns, carry a lot of ammunition. Folks go up there during the fall to go up there for hunting season. That is, in fact, how one of these campsites ended up getting checked. It was abandoned, and Richard Matt and David Sweat authorities told us they broke into that camp, made their way into it, got some food from there. How long they were there, we're not sure, but we know that they were there at some point last weekend, and for how long, it's unclear. Then they made their way to the Malone area, where they are right now, Titus Lake, not too far away from there, and that is where we are told that this gun battle unfolded, and when it did, it sounds as though it has resulted in the death of Richard Matt. That is what our sources are telling us right now. The gun battle has resulted in the death of one of the escaped prisoners, Richard Matt. We are being told that David Sweat is still on the run. My source in law enforcement, who I trust, telling me he is not far away. My source telling me that one dead, one not far away, and subsequently state police sources telling Time Warner Cable News that that dead individual is Richard Matt. So we now assume that David Sweat is on the run and that state police and other crews up there are hot on his trail as they try to bring a resolution to this three week long ordeal. And if we just wanna kinda of go back here and re recap you for you what we have kinda of seen in the last three weeks. Uh, this search getting going on June 6th, and that's when they discovered these two men missing at 5.30 in the morning. And then we would learn that they had tunneled out of the Dannemora Clinton Correctional Facility using power tools that were supplied to them by somebody. And Joyce Mitchell, Wonder who, who was a prison seamstress there, she has been charged in connection with their escape and then a corrections officer. Gene Palmer also charged in connection with their escape. Nice try, Richard Matt.